Hey, I'm Tor, and today I'm going to show you some of the features of MeshBland and what I've been working on. And I thought I'd show you some of the things you've been wondering about in terms of what, what does it support, how can we use it. So first off, in this scene, I'm just going to toggle it on in the editor to see the effect. And I can move my stuff around. Uh, like I normally would. I can also uh, change the size of it if I want to. I can disable it on this actor if I don't want that mesh to blend. But we can also um, do more than that. We can, uh, with ultra dynamic sky, we can change the weather and we can see how does this look if we how does the effect hold up when there's a lot of effects here? So for example, if it's raining, how does the effect work then? Well, it works pretty well. So we can still move stuff around. We can change the weather to something else. We can change it to dust maybe. And you can see the enable, disable. And snow is a pretty important feature. I think the snow in UDS looks pretty good. There's some uh, seams here and there between the meshes, which is understandable because that's from shadow and not from the effect. So we have this seam here and here and here. And if we enable mesh blend back on, we get this more subtle uh, change. I think this uh, treasure chest looks pretty good with it on versus off, where it's like the natural that we're used to. Here's a mesh and I can see that it's placed in the world. And now it's part of the world. We can change it back to some other things. Let's see here. Uh, people have been asking about, what about Nanite? Uh, the landscape here is currently Nanite landscape. But we're gonna, it doesn't have any displacement right now. So if I... Go here, it's, yeah, it's totally flat. But we can go and enable that so that we get a varied landscape. And you can see, as before, it just works. And since it's screen spaced, there's not really a resolution to it. It just kind of works regardless of how far you go in and out. And since it's not um, uh, landscape based, you can blend any mesh with any mesh. We can copy a rock here and we can just make a little assembly of those two like this. And as you can see, it's pretty much impossible to see where one starts and another one ends. So that's a bit of what I wanted to show you today. I hope that gives you some insight on how it works and how you can use it. 